Okay, let's go on to the last topic that is genetics, evolution, origin of life and various proof or evidences to show yeah, yes, evolution took place, what we were and what we are today. So, how from monkeys we became a modern man now. So, let's know a bit details of origin of life. Let's go to the origin of life, how the first life originated. There are various theories that was put forward to explain origin of life. The spontaneous generation theory according to the Old Testament Bible, you know, the Lord my father, that's our great father, Lord Christ, how he told in six days the whole universe was born, along with the first man and woman that is Adam and Eve. It's a total religious, there is no evidences, so this particular theory was not universally accepted because it's being highly religious. So let's see, then later followed by the spontaneous generation, the next theory was put forward by Aristotle. Aristotle put forward the theory of abiogenesis, that is abiogenesis, how the life comes from non-living things, where it tells A is absence of life and life coming from a non-living thing. So here you can see the worms and insects etc. The morning dew gave rise to insects and this marshy region gave rise to worms. This was what told due to evolution or due to various chemical reaction. This living organism that is those insects and worms came from marshy region, morning, that's early morning dew from a non-living thing. This was put forward by Aristotle almost up to 17th century. This was widely accepted unless and until a German doctor by name Francisco Reddy. He totally did not favor this abiogenesis theory. It was he who first introduced biogenesis theory. So this was the first MCQ tell us the spark discharge experiment test which was carried out by Miller and Urey. It was carried out to prove that yes, evolution has taken place. This was put forward by Oparin and Haldin, but it was experimentally put forward by. The options are Oparin and Haldin, Euler and Urey and Miller, Jacob and Monod, Dixon and Jolly. So here Dixon and Jolly totally deals with transpiration pull theory. They were the main person to put forward transpiration pull theory. Followed by Jacob and Monard. Jacob and Monard gave rise. So here, Dixon and Jolly, transpiration pull theory. Jacob and Monard, gen gene expression with reference to lac operon. Oparin and Alden put forward the chemical evolution of life. But experiment based spark discharge experiment to prove that evolution of life was put forward by Urey and Miller. So it was Urey and Miller who first put forward the theory to explain the chemical evolution of life. So the correct option is B for this. A first explain chemical evolution of life. Jacob and Monard open that is lac operon model gene expression. Dixon and Jolly transpiration pull. So the correct option is Urey and Miller B. Now let's.